and hard and um I'm actually going to tell my story of how I came out to everyone and um, I am bisexual I've been bisexual and um, why is And I figured out I was like, well, didn't figure out, but I started noticing girls as well as boys at the age of like 11 or 12. And yeah, I know I was going to be like, oh, 11 too young, like you don't know what you're doing, and everything else like that. I know I was too young to understand anything, but um. That's just what happened. Well, I kind of that happened for about a year or so. I kind of then I forced myself out of it. I was like, oh no, I'm straight. I don't, I don't like girls. It's a stupid thing to do. And then, then September, October, well. August to October, I, I, I realised I actually was bisexual because I, like, I was in second year and I realised I liked to get out in, in third year up for me and the next year up for me and then I set off into her and <coughs> I start like texting her and I start talking on Facebook. But I was, I was too shy to talk to her in person or in school. And then um, anytime I like, anytime I went to my locker in the morning, I'd see her because her locker was like near mine. And then. Um, one day she, <coughs> one day I was going upstairs and she was going down and she she said hi to me and everything and I was like, I, th I thought she was talking to someone else and she was like, yeah, Emily, I'm talking to you and all and I was like, oh, hi. And I just like ran up the stairs. I was so shy. And then, um, then, we had a walk in my school that we do every year and then um, on the way back she said like she came up to me she said she said talking to me and I was I felt so comfortable I thought I was going to be like really shy again why I was me and then um, we were walking home from school and I like I left her outside her seat and then I, I hugged her enough and then she lift, she like lifted back and just kissed me and, and then then that just that's when I figured it and then I was afraid to tell anyone I was afraid to tell anyone about her I was afraid like I was afraid to tell everyone I, I didn't think like people would accept me and like everyone around me would be homophobic and everything else like that. But I I I kept bringing up the, sub the subject with my friends and I was like, what if one of us was bisexual or what if I was bisexual or gay or something? What would you do? And they were like, we just accept it and. We love you for you and every club and I think they said that but like they like they just accept me and that. And then about a week two weeks later I told them that I was and one of my friends I'm not gonna say his name but he might get like yeah. <laughs> I get annoyed. 
and he was like, oh, I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of you, and like, I'm so happy, like, I'm so, like, I can't, I can't really remember what he said, but then I text my other best friend, like, this was through text, and I told her, and she was like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm supportive of you and everything else. She wouldn't come out to me for a week. It like I thought she was. I thought she was annoyed at me and everything else. And, like, she didn't accept me, and like I got upset with that. But um, she wouldn't come out to me. She wouldn't text me or anything. And then. Um, then I asked her to come out one day. She was like, oh no, no, I can't, I can't. And I was like, is there something wrong? Did I do something or anything? And she goes, no, but well, she, she came out. And then I realised she was like, she was just like, she was in shock. And, that. and then I got with the girl that I really liked in school. And then I went out with her, with her for about two and a half, three months. I was like on and off all the time. And then about a month after I was with her, I told my mom and dad, like basically my she was in my house about four or five times before I told my mom and dad that I was going out with her. And it was like my mom wouldn't come into the room when she was there. She just she actually knocked on my door, and then I told I she was going to bed one night, and I told her to come into my room for a minute. And I was like, "Mom, I need to tell you something." So she sat down. And she was like, "What is it? What is it?" She and I was like. You know that girl that's been over a few times and she goes, yeah. Like, and then I go in. I'm going out with her and I'm, like, I'm bisexual. She was like, and then she just goes, oh, that's okay. That's okay. And I still, I still love you. It doesn't matter. Like, what you are, if you're gay or sexual or straight, it doesn't matter. And then she just walked out. Uh, because she was really in shock and it was kind of funny and then I woke up next morning and my dad was out my dad was out cleaning the car and then I opened the window and he looked up and he goes I hear you have something to tell me I was like yeah I have something to tell you and I walked out and I told him and he just started laughing at me and like he was like, it's okay, like, it's your choice and everything else, like, they were accepting of it, but everyone was accepting of it, I don't know if they're short, but, um, yeah, people have, like, called me a dyke and everything else, like, and, a bit of advice if you're not comfortable, if you are gay or bisexual and you're afraid to tell anyone, and, like you're afraid they won't like, accept you. If you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Honest, honestly, don't do it. Not until you're comfortable. Uh, bring up the situation a few times, even. And, like, and just talk about it. Um, and then, then when you are comfortable with it, just say it. But if you're still not comfortable with it, don't say it. Don't say something you're not comfortable with. Or anything else. But I'm gonna go because this video is really long, so that's my coming out story. That's a tiny bit of voice and. Yeah. There he is.